L3, L4, uh, they, they don't ask system design. Mm -hmm. For, for uh, above L4, uh, they, they ask system design. Moving on, how was your interview experience at Google? So when you first started with the interviews, how, how many rounds were there? What was the each round covering and how was your overall experience? So uh, the experience was uh, very good. Uh, okay, it was uh, the question level was uh, uh, really interesting, and uh, uh, I was enjoying the questions in the interview. Okay, uh, I, I had a HR round first uh, with a recruiter. Uh, mm -hmm. Then, then I had five coding rounds and one Googliness round. Okay. And uh, after that, uh, I, I got my uh, hiring committee cleared after my interviews itself. So I did not have a HC round. Uh, I moved to the team matching phase. Uh, I, I uh, talked to two teams. Uh, for The first team only I liked. So then I had a call with the hiring manager of that team. Uh, he also understood. Uh, he talked about my background and about the team. And he was trying to match. And I was also trying to uh, look myself in that team. and. Uh, uh, everything was looking good then then yeah so these were the rounds that i had uh the the coding rounds were uh, a little different than other companies at google uh okay. because you you don't see any question uh, of google interviews on lead code so mm -hmm. uh it was something new uh mm -hmm. challenging but the interviewers were really nice uh uh they they were giving good hints and uh were really there for me to help me pass the interview. So it was not like anyone was uh, having a lot of ego or anything. It was a very nice experience. And uh, hmm. I, I enjoyed the interview process. OK. So again, I, I'll go into a little bit uh, depth of each of the rounds. So uh, these five coding rounds you mentioned, uh, what was the duration of those? How many questions were generally covered in that? and what was the difficulty level type of that? And how okay, sure. were different from one another? OK, sure. So I, I think uh, each round was about 50 minutes. I'm not exactly sure I, uh, how much. Around 45 to one, one hour. OK, mm -hmm. in, in that, I, I was asked uh, almost two questions in each round. Mm -hmm. all, all the questions were uh, like continuation, one question, and then continuation to something else. or mm -hmm. Uh, in in one round, I think it was completely new question. First, mm -hmm. they gave a simple, easy question, and then they gave a difficult one. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, almost two questions in every round. Um, mm -hmm. Difficulty level was uh, uh, in in three rounds it was medium to hard. In two rounds it was hard. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and. Uh, 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 we we did not have any talk about my resume or anything in these rounds. It was just coding rounds. Okay, okay, understood. So at what level uh, have you joined at Google? I've joined at L three. Okay. So is there any specific differences between these rounds? So you were not asked anything related to system design. Yeah. Uh, so for L three, L four, uh, they they don't ask system design. For hmm. for uh, above L4, uh, they, they ask system design rounds. OK, understood. So apart from all of these, is there any specific pointers they uh, gave you for your, uh, because uh, anything specific to like applying to Google Washington office, or is it a general interview process all across everywhere? It was a general interview process. Uh, after the team match, uh, I, after the HC clear hiring committee clearance, uh, I was pulled into a team match. Okay, uh, then uh, I I I only gave the preferences that where where I want to join. So so okay. so the, the 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 other team. My second preference was the Mountain View office, the headquarters. Uh, but since I was staying in. Seattle itself, so so I decided to stay here because I was settled here. Hmm. So okay, understood. So, uh, how was the experience specifically for HR round or Googliness round? So, 
uh, there is lot of uh, hype also like amazon as a similar leadership principle around that so how was it very difficult or did you do any specific uh, prep for that separately so uh, i i prepared for amazon leadership principles okay i, I believe uh, in my experience they are the most difficult uh, behavior rounds okay uh, uh, so so i prepared uh, my experiences whatever i did in past according to their leadership principles uh, mm -hmm. fitting them in and having some keywords in each answers uh, like uh, worked with the team or communicated or uh discussed some 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 keywords which which i had uh mm -hmm. I, I prepared a sheet also with with all, all the leadership principles and uh my experiences around those leadership principles okay mm -hmm. this is what i did for amazon for uh google i i did a similar process but uh uh the uh googliness round was uh more of a conversation with the interviewer instead of the interviewer shooting questions at me so okay. so it was a little light than uh, amazon for at least me uh, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, yep that that's it hmm understood so so basically you, your preparation for amazon leadership principles got you through the same uh, googleiness round at google okay yep understood. so uh, let's now uh, finally move into the final stages where uh, we if you had to create a timeline or if you had to create a road map for people who want to go to google and give certain tips uh, things to keep in mind uh, as let's say someone reaching out to you as for guidance or something how would you uh, what tips would you give and how would you give them a timeline or road map to cover okay uh, so i uh, think uh, the first tip would be that uh, uh, focus on basics okay uh, mm. they, they they are going to help you uh, all, all the times I, I like my understanding or my thought about this is like uh, uh, lead coding is like uh, uh, calculus and basics are like algebra so they are going to simple addition subtraction if you don't know how what is addition and subtraction if you don't mm. know the basics of data structures you you will face problems while uh, uh, solving lead code so hmm. focus on basics okay uh, second was uh, uh, have a structured preparation don't just uh, randomly lead code okay uh, hmm. by structured preparation i i mean like define what, like what how i did was uh, i had multiple phases of preparations in the first hmm. phase i did easy rounds easy questions of uh, um, uh, data structures and uh, algorithms uh, then then in the second phase i did medium level third phase i did hard level and uh, uh, then then i did revision so this is yeah. how i prepared so uh, it, it helped me gain confidence also so instead of randomly uh, solving you, you should have a structured plan uh, yeah. okay uh, third third is that uh, you uh, give give mock interviews as much as you can uh, I have got this question a lot that how many questions are enough? If I solve 500 questions, will I get into Google? There is no correct answer for this question. People oh. with, who have solved 50 questions also might get. People who have solved 500 questions also might not get. Oh. Okay. Uh, how do you know when, when you are prepared? Is is mock interviews are going to tell you that? Okay, hmm. because if you are consistently doing good in mock interviews, that's the indication that you're ready for the interview. Hmm. Hmm. Right. So, so give a lot of mock interviews, uh, and uh, that will help you in building confidence also. Uh, another tip is that uh, uh, have good company around you, friends who, who are motivated enough and are talking about these things. Uh, data structures and discussing about software engineering in general uh, have a healthy competition around you that that is also going to help you hmm. um, and uh, fifth is like you cannot run from hard work you you will hmm. have to work hard at least once so so don't run from hard work uh, hmm. and uh, last is like 
before the interview be confident uh, okay uh, and uh, in the interview uh, uh, be be likable so uh, earlier we were talking about uh, this uh, behavioral round right so uh, there is one more part that uh, in, in these uh, coding rounds also you you have to be uh, likable because uh, that that is also important uh, if if you are arguing with the interviewer or if mm -hmm. if you said some time complexity and the interviewer did not agree and you started arguing with that um, mm -hmm. that that mm -hmm. that will uh, even after clearing the rounds you you might not get in mm -hmm. because uh, the interviewer is looking for a teammate potential teammate and he would not want to work with someone who has a lot of ego so mm -hmm. be like it in the interview right so that that, that is like sort of soft skills and interviewing skills uh, yep. that everybody needs to have uh, you mentioned about hard work so i i i want to mention that uh, you earlier mentioned that you spend at least like 4 to 5 hours on a daily basis while working at a full time job so uh, we keep getting candidates at Twinplays who are like working professionals and they say i don't have time and you are the perfect example that uh, Okay, you can crack and you can prepare for tons of uh, companies just by having lots of focus and hard work. So that's great. So one uh, final question that I wanted to ask. So uh, one is about the resume part that what type of work did you put it into uh, your uh, resume? And second is the application and part we'll go to that uh, next. But uh, focusing on resume, uh, what all things you did there and how did you got into uh, selection process? Okay. So, so uh, I, uh, for Google, I, I had all my interviews uh, scheduled and after that I submitted my resume. Okay. Oh. But uh, uh, my resume, uh, so it is a very, in, in a very simple format, it's nothing fancy. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I've seen resumes with uh, uh, photos and uh, different, uh, very good looking, fancy looking resumes. Mine is simple uh, text. Uh, I, I've seen some uh, latex formats also. It's in similar format. Okay. And uh, uh, basically, it was readable for uh, ATS. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it, it focused on uh, the, the ex work I did the impact of that work and uh, 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 so let's say i i uh, like it had all the numbers and figures as, with the impact uh, hmm. and because uh, as an external uh, recruiter when when they are reading about your work experience they'll not understand but if you hmm. they'll see that okay you helped uh, uh, save resources by x percent that hmm. that that is going to be impactful for them and uh, I also had keywords, uh, uh, different different keywords like uh, uh, which which were which uh, basically soft skills uh, keywords. Um, hmm. uh, and uh, uh, I gone through multiple uh, uh, corrections and reviews about my resumes from my friends, family, mentors, and that's how I I improved my resume understood okay so i am i'm just a little bit more curious about the application process now because you mentioned that you gave your resume at the end of your coding rounds and everything so how did you how did the application go through you mentioned that you applied to a lot of companies earlier uh, so uh, for for google the recruiter reached out to me Okay, and after not after the coding rounds, but once the recruiter reached out to me, we had a call. Then, then I gave them my resume. Okay, okay, understood. So, how how would you give, recommend someone to approach this? For your case, it was straightforward that the recruiter reached out to you. But how would you recommend someone to go about it? Uh, yeah. So when I was uh, graduating at that time. <laughs> recruiters are not responding to me itself so it was a different story at that time so uh, at that time uh, uh, linkedin is a very powerful tool uh, 
I got into Oracle because of LinkedIn. I, I saw that the my manager was hiring. I just pinged him uh, a, a very short message uh, with with my portfolio, uh, 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 GitHub IO link, I believe. Uh, and uh, I, I asked him about his feedback that how can I, I improve. Uh, hmm. So so he responded and uh, uh, we had a call. Uh, so this is uh, so LinkedIn is a very powerful tool. Uh, mm -hmm. You can see who is hiring and uh, reach out to them, but don't ping them too much. Also, uh, they if they are hiring and they are interested, they'll respond because mm -hmm. they also want to hire good candidates. So if they are hiring, they'll respond. Mm -hmm. um, apply. There is no limit of applying. Uh, I I almost applied to 500 plus companies, uh, oh. and yeah, at that time. So. Uh, there is no limit. Uh, keep applying. Uh, have like, um, you, you, if you want a job, uh, nobody else is going to apply for you. You only have to apply. Yeah. So, uh, yep. I think probably you got a recruiter call mostly because you had already applied to them some time back, and you are. I, I to be honest, I don't remember applying for Google at that time because. Uh, uh, they they're hiring for new grads close closes pretty early and I was not prepared at that time. Okay. So so I I I don't know how the recruiter got my details and how he reached he, uh, she reached out to me. I I, I really don't know. Mm -hmm. Amazon and Microsoft I did apply, so they okay. might be having my uh, application in their uh, backend, but uh, Google yeah. I don't know. So one interesting tip that I take away that I got from your thing is that you simply look at who is hiring and you directly message them and not directly asking them that okay give me a job but you specifically shared your portfolio and asked for feedback and is there something so that's that's really nice so that's an in interesting take on how you go about your application and things yeah so yeah that that's uh, pretty much all the sort of questions uh any final tips or any one specific thing that you would uh, recommend anyone if if they had to keep one thing in mind what would be that for the preparation i i think uh, be like work hard and be confident okay great yeah so uh, for everyone uh, who is watching this video uh, devashi is also uh, gives as he mentioned uh, take lots of mock interviews. So uh, he also is providing mock interviews to people for helping them get ready, finding their skill gaps and detecting where to focus. So if you want to take any guidance or mock interviews from Devishis, you can feel free. You can uh, even check out Replace platform for uh, connecting to Devishis. Uh, so yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks a lot for taking out time. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, best of luck for your uh, career ahead at Google. Thanks, Sail. Thanks for having me. Yeah.